I tell the story of Mac in this book, who was, he was actually the village drunk, a guy that I found kind of an annoyance <laughs> on my way to Bible study. You know, he would be stumbling around, but he was severely burnt, and he came to live with us while he recovered. In the, in the guest house. In the guest house, yes. <laughs> And a social worker on our staff said, well, we got to help him. And I'm going, okay, I guess we do. Um, we took him to three different hospitals, and three different doctors told me his leg needed to be amputated. And I just knew that for a man who was already drunk and homeless, the loss of a leg would mean the loss of life completely. And so um, the last doctor said to me, well, if somebody would bandage it every day, it could get well, but we don't have the medicine or the resources to do it here at this hospital. Would you like me to show you how? And I said, yeah. He's looking for the somebody. <laughs> He's looking for the somebody. And I said, sure, I'll do that. So wow. Max stayed in the guest house for about two years. For the first year, I bandaged his leg every single day. God love you. And as I bandaged his leg, he told me about his life and I got to tell him about the gospel. Um, as the year went by, my husband started, he wasn't my husband then, he was my friend, and I had said, hey, this guy needs a man to pour into him. So he started coming over twice a week and studying the Bible with Mac, and about a year in, Mac came to know Jesus as his savior, and his life has been completely transformed.